35 million plus people are now under winter storm watches and here's the storm itself dropping in from Canada cold air behind it. This is coming out of the Pacific Northwest. It's making a beeline across the US Canada border. Guess what? We've got some moisture getting fed up ahead of this from the Gulf. Some warm moisture, a lot of it and it's going to collide with this front. The two coming together right where we have that boundary is where we're going to see the chance for some frozen uh, precipitation. That's freezing ice or you can see some freezing rain rather some ice, some sleet. That Arctic high parked right over the plains is going to push a lot of that cold air in from Canada. Then we've got the southern jet stream and look where it's positioned just in the right spot to pull some more moisture off of the Pacific off of Baja. Baja is a little warmer source there and that gets fed into that as well. So you've got a couple forms or sources of moisture. The cold system, as we were talking about, 3,000 feet, look at that, from the U.S.-Canada border to the U.S.-Mexico border, even beyond. So pretty extensive storm. As it moves to the east ever so slowly, where there's two combine, all that pink that you see there is where we're going to see that frozen precipitation. Could see some heavy rain south of here where the warmer weather is as well. So potential for more flooding as we go through the week. As far as all those watches and warnings we were talking about, the winter storm watch right now does extend over portions of Colorado, that southern Colorado, over to Texas, at least a part of it right now. Oklahoma, all the way up into the Great Lakes region. We won't be surprised if this gets extended and include more of Texas and New Mexico. We'll update you as that comes in if it gets come in, if it does get updated. Future track. Here's the rain. This is three o'clock Wednesday morning. So Tuesday night into Wednesday morning from Chicago all the way down to Denver and to the plains is where you're going to start to see the snow come through. Now we're looking at six o'clock Thursday morning. Watch how widespread this is. It now extends over the Great Lakes. You've got all of the pink. Could see some ice, a nice glaze of it, which is not good, as you know, especially for this time of year. Rain down to the south. Some of these uh, bouts of rain are going to be rather heavy. By the time we get into Friday afternoon, it's moving out of this area. Of course, we've got more on where it goes because it's going to be moving over into the east right after that. Snow forecast, this is Tuesday through Friday morning. Pretty impressive. From Fort Wayne to Springfield, you're looking at another 12 inches of fresh snow. Yeah, just like that. Boom. And then for the blues, you're going to see anywhere from one to three, four, five inches of rain. The threat for ice or the glaze of ice right now, we're not talking amounts just yet, is very likely just south of St. Louis. And you're probably going to get some from St. Louis all the way up through Fort Wayne, Columbus. And that's going to be a major concern because it'll be at least 48 hours where some of you are going to be getting some winter like conditions. So for two days. The rain forecast, look at this, pretty heavy rain over central portions of Tennessee up and through Kentucky, St. Louis for the next five days. Plan on some 50s as we go through the day tomorrow. Then the snow picks up on Wednesday into Thursday. You do get a break on Friday and Saturday. At that point, though, the temperatures are going to be so cold, it's going to be taking some time to get rid of the snow and the ice where we do get it. A big problem here as we go through the middle part of the week. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.